Hello, this is part three of my three part series on the major scale. We will be applying the major scale to the guitar today. It is not visually representative like the piano is where the white notes are the natural notes and the black notes are the sharps and flats. Everything looks the same on a guitar. It's just a bunch of frets. Some things are higher in one direction or lower in a different direction. It's totally different. Um, and so yeah, check it out. So, you know the formula by now. Let's look. On the guitar, a half step is one fret. So, open to first fret is one half step. This is another half step, half step, half step, half step. Okay? So, you should be able to do a major scale on any string now that you know the formula. And you should be able to do it without even knowing what notes you're playing. Obviously, I want you to know what notes you're playing, but I'm just saying you can only use the formula and see what happens. Let's start on the E string. We're not even going to worry about what notes these are, but there's our one. Remember, we're going to go to the two. That's a whole step. To the three, it's another whole step. To the four, it's a half step. To the five, it's a whole step. To the six, to the six, it's a whole step. To the seven, whole step. To the one or eight, it's another half step. All right. Eight to seven is a half step. Seven to six, whole step. Six to five, whole step. Five to four, whole step. Four to three, half step. 3 to 2, whole step, back to 1, whole step. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do it on any string. B string. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, let's think about it now with the notes. So the simplest major scale, starting on an open string on your guitar, is G. It's only got one sharp. So here's, here's your G string. So if we go G, a whole step up is A. Whole step up is B. Half step from three to four is C. Whole step up from 4 to 5 is D. Whole step from 5 to 6, you're on E. 6 to 7 is a whole step. That's F sharp. We know that's not G flat because we're in the key of G. We're not going to have two Gs. So E, whole step up is F sharp. And then G. G, F sharp, E. This is a fantastic way to get to know your fretboard, doing major scales all over the guitar, on one string, and then on multiple strings. If you're doing multiple strings, you can't just do the formula itself. The formula itself works with one string because it's everything's visible. You know, you know the distances. It's almost like we're laying that paper right down onto the string. But when it's multiple strings, you've got to know the note because it's not laid out in the same way. You've got that, you've got two axes. You've got that axis and you've got that axis. All right? So for example, if you were gonna do a major scale um, on A, know the notes in the scale ahead of time. It's gonna be so much easier that you're not thinking about whether you're gonna do F sharp or G flat. 
get that straight ahead of time. Write it down or look it up or whatever. So let's do an A major scale, which you know the notes are A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. All right, that's settled. So we've got open A, open A string. Then we've got your B, C sharp. Now C sharp to a D is your half step. You could go here if you want. Or you could go to the next string, open D. Then you're going up to an E, F sharp. Now you could go here to G sharp, or you could go here to G sharp. And then A. It could be there, or it could be there. This is a way of exploring major scales and exploring the neck. This is not how I would teach you to play a major scale sometimes going open string, sometimes going up the neck. When you're doing scales on the guitar, it's also for technique. So there's a way to do it. It's not willy-nilly. The willy-nilly way is for you to explore the guitar using major scales. Do it up a string, do it partly up a string and partly jumping strings, however you want. You're gonna learn your guitar and you're gonna learn major scales. But actual major scales that are laid out for the guitar are another thing. And of course, I have videos on that. Those are really important. Anyway, hope you got major scales now, theoretically, on the piano, on the guitar. That's power. Power!